Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a step-by-step -step video on how to upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7. Okay, to begin with, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade to Windows 10 using Microsoft's Media Creation Tool and you can do this directly from Microsoft Corporation's website. This is an easy way to upgrade to Windows 10 at your convenience from Windows 7. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here by opening up your favorite internet browser. I'm going to go ahead and open up IE here because it's convenient. And go to your favorite search engine. I'm going to go to Google and type in Windows 10 Download. Once you do that, scroll on down and pick or select media creation tool to download Windows 10 Microsoft and once you find that link go ahead and click on it and that's going to take you to the Microsoft software download website page and here is where you can download Windows 10 manually and install at your convenience now if we scroll down here before you begin definitely check out your system requirements to make sure that your system does meet the minimum requirements for Windows 10. As we scroll down what we're going to be doing is installing the Windows 10 um, media creation tool on your computer and there's uh, two versions a 32-bit and a 64-bit and the way you determine which one to download is by clicking on your start menu on Windows 7 here and then going and selecting on the right hand side here computer and right click and then click on properties on the menu and that brings up the system information window and on my computer I'm running Windows 7 Home Premium and I am running a 64-bit operating system and uh, you would determine which um, version to download on your computer in the same fashion okay let me go ahead and close that out and I'm going to go ahead and click on the 64-bit version and in IE I get this prompt down here that basically says um, do you want to download this this may harm your computer I know that this is a safe site so I'm going to go ahead over to the right hand side here and click on run versus save because it's a very small file and it only takes a few seconds for it to um, initialize and once it does in Windows 7 I get this prompt the user account control center prompt that uh, says basically do you, are you sure you want to run this program on this computer and let it make changes and yes I do so I'm going to go down here and click on the yes button here and that initializes the upgrade window and opens up the Windows 10 setup window and let's go ahead and close out the browser here so we can see this more clearly what do you want to do upgrade the PC now so I'm going to click on next and that will start the download of the Windows 10 uh, files down to my computer and through the magic of video editing it's been speeded up uh, X number of times and then it's going to be creating Windows 10 media and then uh, preparing Windows 10 for my uh, Windows 7 PC to be upgraded to Windows 10 and then it goes out and gets some updates if needed and then it says we're getting a few things ready and once it's got those things ready you'll get a license terms um, agreement window here definitely read this and then click on next then it goes and says choose what to keep and before it does that it gets some additional updates and then makes sure that you're ready to install and checks your disk space on your computer to make sure that there's enough room and then it's ready to install and these are the things that's going to happen it's going to install Windows 10 and it's going to keep personal files and apps and it's going to install the home version so I'm going to click on install at this point because I want to go ahead and proceed so it's installing Windows 10 and um, in the install process here it's going to reboot several times just to give you a heads up and of course um, there's no set number of times it could be two or three or it could be three or four depending on what it needs to do to uh, install Windows 10 on your computer so we have a shutdown here and a restart going on and then it loads the files back 
and starts up Windows uh, 10 upgrade. And we're moving right along here at 11%, 20%. It's copying files. And then it moves along and reboots again and starts up Windows 10 upgrade one more time. And at this point, we're at 42%. 97% and it's just about finished configuring the Windows 10 settings. Now again this is speeded up through the magic of video editing but this could take a couple of hours on your computer easily. So um, at any rate um, the next thing it says hi there welcome back at it after it rebooted and uh, now it's asking me to click next and uh, at this point, I'm going to use Express Settings, not, not Customize Settings. Um, this is quicker. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. Most people would. And it tells me that there's new apps for the new Windows. And uh, Microsoft Edge is one of them. And it's finalizing the settings. Comes back, says hi. And it starts up Windows 10's uh, login screen and at this point it's going to come back and reboot and say hi again and tell me that uh, we're setting things up for you and then it comes back and this won't take long setting up your apps and uh, the next message is taking care of a few more things and just a few more tweaks and then you'll get this message uh, sometimes you will and sometimes you won't. It's taken a bit longer than usual, but it should be ready soon. Uh, don't be alarmed if you do get this. It may stay up for a few minutes. Once it's done doing what it needs to do, you'll get let's start. And then it'll go right into Windows 10 and finish um, configuring everything for you. Okay, at this point, you're up and running on Windows 10. Subscribe and like my video.